Do I have to spell it out for you or do you have that much internalized racism? It's so cool that this movie rental store still exists. I miss the whole experience of walking through a blockbuster on a Friday night to rent a movie. Oh my God, me too. It's a shame that they're all pretty much extinct now. Oh, the scary movie section. Let's check this aisle out. Sure. Hmm. What's 16 Candles doing in this section? Shouldn't it be in comedy or something? Oh no, I cannot watch that one. It's not even scary. You're right. It's horrifying. What's horrifying about it? <laughs> uh, hmm, let me see. How about the fact that it's teeming with misogyny, sexual harassment, and racism? Okay, so I know it made fun of about a million different stereotypes, which probably haven't aged well, but that's not something to freak out over. <laughs> Besides, this was made like 40 years ago. <laughs> Fine, keep making excuses for that problematic piece of trash film. Oh, Kindergarten Cop. I haven't seen this movie in forever. Ugh, to this day, I still have nightmares about that movie. Kindergarten Cop? You mean you don't? It's Arnold Schwarzenegger as a kindergarten teacher. And a cop! <laughs> that film straight up promotes police brutality. Okay, are you serious right now? As serious as the PTSD episodes I've suffered thanks to that repulsive film. I'm starting to think that you and I have very different definitions of horror. Yeah, and thank God this video store feels the same exact way as I do. Although a gigantic trigger warning sign would have been appreciated. Oh, the next Karate Kid. Now this is one you can't find anywhere these days. Are you flipping kidding me? What now? Do I have to spell it out for you or do you have that much internalized racism? That movie encourages cultural appropriation through its storyline of an evil white woman who steals the Japanese martial art of self-defense to fend off bullies and overcome internal struggles. Uh, she's not stealing it and she's not evil. Well, she's white, but that doesn't mean she's evil. In my book, it does. I'm evil, actually, because I'm white. Oh my god, why did I even come in here? <gasps> what? This one is terrifying. Okay, now that movie actually did give me a few nightmares as a kid, but it's actually really funny. You think ableism is funny? Ableism? Yeah, you think it's okay to laugh at and mock individuals who were born with scissors for hands? That's not even a real disability. Not to mention, it's completely ableist to cast an able-bodied actor like Johnny Depp to play a disabled character. But the character he's playing isn't even a real human. That shouldn't matter. Hashtag representation matters. Okay, is there one film in this horror section that doesn't trigger you? It's called the horror section for a reason. Okay, how about Iron Man? Uh, can you say toxic masculinity? Hairspray? Oh, you mean John Travolta's incredibly transphobic and fat phobic portrayal of a Baltimore housewife? What's eating Gilbert Grape? A neurotypical actor playing a character who's on the autism spectrum? Not okay. Home Alone. Child neglect and endangerment. The Little Rascals. Must I remind you of the highly misogynistic He-Man Woman Haters Club touted in that film? Miss Congeniality. Beauty pageants objectify women and encourage unhealthy beauty standards. Are you two finding everything okay? Uh, yeah. Well, sort of. Um, can you tell me what this movie is doing in the horror section? Oh dear, that doesn't belong in this section at all. See? In fact, that movie doesn't even belong in this store since it's rated NC-117. NC-117? Yeah, that movie isn't suitable for anyone under the age of 117 due to the offensive content and sensitive subject matter it contains. It's the Care Bears. <laughs> Everyone knows that those Care Bears were part of a satanic cult. Yeah, and the way they use their Care Bear stare to indoctrinate children by shooting rainbows and sunshine out of their tummies and flooding their minds with love and happy thoughts? It was literal mind rape. Boy, am I glad we caught this one when we did.